Hey trash cans, it's Ashley. Welcome to today's vlog. Today is our first day of school here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, which means it's the first day of my junior year. I feel like college has gone by so fast. It feels crazy to say that I'm a junior already, but I'm up bright and early this morning because I have a cycling class at 7.30. I'm going to get all ready for that. And then when I'm back and a little bit more awake, we can discuss what's gonna happen for today. Here's the outfit for cycling today, wearing this matching set from Set Active. Set Active has like my favorite workout stuff. And I wanna start today off on the right note. So I'm wearing my favorite outfit. Also, turns out my roommate is gonna come along and take the class with me, so that should be even more fun. I'm back home from cycling. I got all ready for the day. Keeping the outfit super simple today, just these jean shorts and this brown bodysuit. However, I did do my makeup today, which if you watch any of my other vlogs, you know that I don't really wear makeup to class. But I figured first day of junior year, want to start off on the right foot. Might as well put on a little bit of makeup if it'll make me feel a little bit more confident going into today. I only have one class today and it's not until 1.30. It's only 11 right now, so I think I'm gonna run to Trader Joe's super quickly. I have to take the bus there, but I think their fall items have just come out so I'm gonna quickly run over there and see what I can grab I don't really need that much food but I love the fall items at Trader Joe's so I want to grab them like before they go I'm back from Trader Joe's I decided to walk my groceries the mile and a half back to my apartment instead of taking the bus because I had to wait like another 20 minutes for the bus to come. And to be honest, I can walk a mile and a half in 20 minutes. So I decided that just walking home would be easier, but now I'm like really sweaty and I'm scared about this frozen stuff going bad. So I'm gonna do a super, super quick Trader Joe's haul. Sorry the lighting here is so bad. If you're interested in more and about what I eat, kind of how I eat as a vegan in college, all that stuff, definitely check out my food Instagram. It's ash.cash.eats. I post on there like every couple of days. So if you are more interested in that, feel free to follow me on there. First up, the Dairy Free Hold the Cones. These are so good. This was the last box. I'm so happy that I grabbed it. Korean Beefless Bagolgi. I think that's how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is a new product, so I wanted to give it a try. I changed the camera angle a little bit if it looks different but I'm gonna continue with my haul I got simply eggless I've never tried this before I think it's basically the same thing as just egg rice vinegar so that I can make sushi sour Scandinavian swimmers these are so good soy chorizo for some burrito bowls Plantain chips, I love these. I will literally eat a whole bag of these in one sitting. Whole wheat pita pockets. I used to not really be a pita pocket person. I felt like every time I bought them at the store, they were always not as good as when I got them in restaurants, but these are so good. I just throw them in the fridge and then they stay good for a really long time. Dill pickle mini falafel maple leaf cookies. I was looking for the pumpkin Jojos, but I don't think those are out yet. So I just got these to hold myself over. They're like a little fall themed cookie. A zucchini, cause I'm gonna make some pasta tonight i think a cucumber teeny tiny avocados these are adorable and so so perfect for like one person then you just use the whole avocado at once and you don't have to worry about the other half like getting brown or anything the vegan kale pesto this stuff is so good some high protein tofu i've never tried this kind but it does have more protein than the regular tofu so i figured i would give it a shot toasted sesame oil i love to use this to marinate my tofu or to make sauces or dressings vegan feta i just ran out of my vegan feta so i had to get another cashew yogurt this stuff is not my absolute favorite but it's good on my trader joe's haul on tiktok someone commented that i should try the instant cold brew coffee so you know i had to get it i feel like this is going to be really really good at the moment we don't have a coffee maker here so i'm looking for like other ways to get my coffee fix in so definitely gonna give this a try super excited about that and finally the guy that was checking me out was so excited about this item because they just put it out on the shelves today and i saw this on instagram today and that's like the literal reason why i went to trader 
Joe's, this mix, it's cinnamon roll blondie bar baking mix. And it's accidentally vegan. Of course, the instructions have to use like butter and eggs, but I have vegan butter and I have vegan eggs now. So I can really just make it work. I'm so excited to try this. I feel like it's gonna be really good. I'll let you guys know. I did stop at Bloom Bake Shop after Trader Joe's. If you've been to the Trader Joe's in Madison, it's right across from there. And they have a whole vegan egg gluten-free pastry section. And they had this delicious looking item. So I got this pumpkin chai chocolate chip loaf. It looks amazing. I'm so excited to have that. I'm going to put all of this stuff away now and then it will be about time for me to head out to my first class. It kind of feels lame that I only have one class today and that it's kind of later in the day. But the same thing happened last year where I like didn't even have any classes on the first day of school. So thankful to have just one class. I have a couple friends in this class, so it should be pretty good. I just realized I should probably kind of get myself an order school-wise before I go to class. I have this notebook, but like I don't have anything written in it yet. So I think I'm gonna go through and divide it by my classes. I did crack open a Celsius. I had to do it. Does anyone else get like really excited about new school supplies? Like I love new pens. I went to go relax because I felt like I didn't have anything else to do for the next 10 minutes, but that's really not true. I need to check my email. I need to get my backpack packed. Like my backpack has a bunch of stuff in it right now. That's from like my last trip. So I need to take all that stuff out, put all my school stuff in, make sure my computer is charged. I don't even know if it's charged yet. I'm gonna put the camera away for a little bit, get myself all in order and then head out for class. I know where the building is that I have my class in, but I don't know where the room is. I've been in that building before, but only on the second floor and apparently there's other floors. I didn't know that there were five floors. I'm back at my apartment. I didn't realize I was gonna know that many people in my class. I knew that as I got into my major, I would start to know more people in my classes, but I didn't think I would know that many people. The feeling of walking into a new class and like seeing a familiar face is truly unmatched. I do get a little bit anxious about going back to school, but having friends in class today definitely helped me a lot with my nerves. And I have a couple friends who are following like the same major as me. So we have class together tomorrow too, which is great. We also got out of class like two two hours early, which was so nice. While I don't really have any assignments to do, I do have a couple of readings that I could get started on. I do just like to get a head start on things like this so I don't have to worry about it later on. I'm also committing to using my Notion this year. I made a whole like aesthetic Notion, had it all organized and everything, and then I never used it last year. So I updated it and I'm going to try to use it consistently this year. I'm really debating going to get a spring roll because it's so nice outside. Today is like the perfect day. It's 78 degrees today, which is like insane for Madison in September. So I'm trying to like take advantage of it. This looks like this will be the last nice week before temps drop back down into like the 60s. So I really wanna be outside for a little bit today, but I also do wanna get a head start on my school. So I've done schoolwork for about five minutes now and my roommate just got home and we decided it's too nice of a day to be stuck inside. Especially on the first day of school, we want all the good vibes. We're gonna go get spring rolls. As you may or may not know, I am obsessed with the spring roll cart here. There's two spring roll trucks. I think fresh cold drinks is better and they're cheaper than the other one. The other lady just upped her prices. Fresh cold drinks all the way. The line is usually very long, but I don't really have much else to do today and I wanna soak up this sun while it lasts because it's gonna be rainy all week next week. Now we're eating our spring rolls while we watch the Kardashians. My roommates and I are all getting ready to go jump in the lake. I can't believe that I'm a junior and I've never jumped in the lake before. I feel like that's a rite of passage as a UW-Madison student, but I've never done it. And I honestly can't think of a better way to end the first day of junior year. So I did jump in, but I forgot that I didn't know how to tread water. And I ended up with this. Blood warning, blood warning. It's not very fun. How was your jumping in the lake experience? Very good. Not like yours. No, not like mine. I am in pain. I might have tetanus. It's whatever. We just all got back from jumping in the lake. 
it was super fun we got ice cream afterwards i got watermelon italian ice and it was surprisingly pretty good most of the time italian ices are like not my jam but it was really good like the texture was good however i did suffer an injury i don't know how to tread water so it probably wasn't the smartest idea for me to jump into a really deep lake but i needed to do it at some point in my life but there was a ladder so i thought it would be okay to like use that to get myself up but the ladder only had two rungs on it the lowest one was almost out of the water so i couldn't like step up to reach it so I had to like put my knees on it and use my arm strength to like hoist myself up and I tried like three or four times and I couldn't get it so Jillian's boyfriend David helped me get up but I was kind of scared there for a second not gonna lie skip the next couple seconds if you don't like blood but here's a picture of my injury yeah definitely not good um I got it cleaned up now it looks a lot better I just really hope I don't get any, any like infections or anything because it was a mossy ladder that I like cut myself on which is obviously not the most sanitary thing I'm going to jump in the shower here wash my hair get all ready for bed I have a super early class tomorrow I have an 8 15 lecture fun fact I've never had class before 11 a.m. since being at college so I really don't know how this 8 15 a.m. class is gonna go tomorrow even though it will already have happened by the time you guys see this vlog please send me good luck Luck. I'm gonna need it to get through this semester. Honestly, it was a really great night. Despite my injury, I'm really happy that I went out and did that. I've always wanted to jump in the lake. We also just got to sit by the lake, watch the sunset. So pretty. This campus really is beautiful and it's great when you have people to share that with. So I really did have a great time. Definitely had a good day today. I'm feeling good about this year. I'm excited for this semester. That is pretty much it for my first day of junior year. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you that support me and follow me along on my college journey journey. It's going to be a great year. I can't wait for the vlogs to come. If you have any video requests or anything, go ahead and comment them. I read everyone's comments. I also respond to Instagram DMs, so if you have any questions about anything, whether it be the school, college, whatever, feel free to DM me. My Instagram and all my socials are always in the descriptions of my videos. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!